speech at the rally. Under leftist martial law, and if the communist Chinese agent, Joe Biden, is able to get in there, he will put America under permanent lockdown, siege, until we're brought to our knees. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, President Trump, by every metric, won this election. And that's why the corporate media, that's why the corporate media, including Fox News, will not let anybody on to show the proven fraud in Pennsylvania, in Michigan, in Arizona, in Georgia, in Nevada, and in Minnesota. I mean, Trump won by, Trump won by zero metrics. Like, there is not a single metric that he won in, unless you think like, the only states that should be counted are states in which he won. You know what I mean? Like, I love that they're shitting on Fox, possibly because, I mean, he won our hearts. That's true. Trump did win our hearts, especially with the, with the coming out as a bisexual in the last uh, week of his rallies and the double dick sucking dance. Like, I, I think that was pretty tight. And he was like, I, I'm going to kiss all the boys. Oh, they're so burly. I love them. He won our souls with his dumpy. Yeah, he did. If there is a metric of success for dumpers, Trump fucking absolutely crushed it on that one. That's also a fact. Trump did win the losing metric pretty handily. All this fashion on the same place. I'm having bad thoughts. Ban me, please. No, don't say anything. President Trump won by an even bigger margin, and the evidence of fraud is flooding out. And now big tech, which allied with communist China, is even suppressing people's text messages because the criminals are scared of you. <laughs> the truest thing President Trump ever said was, they're not coming after me, they're coming after you. <laughs> and the globalists know there's been a populist revolution worldwide. They know from Brazil to the UK there's a huge awakening. We are going to look back at this era, hopefully if we're still alive at that point, or if there are uh, future generations, but they will look back at this era in a similar capacity to how we looked at the, the 30,000 uh, Nazis that marched to Madison Square Garden. It's pretty much the same. Like they are, when they talk about a, na uh, a, a, uh, a globalist or not a globalist, but a global populist uprising they're talking about nationalism they're talking about they're talking about fascism like they're literally talking about that when they when alex jones says that he's talking about afd in germany he's talking about orban like he's talking about polish nationalists so in a similar capacity to what occurred in the 30s that's happening now he brought up bolsonaro exactly who is a fascist revolution worldwide they know from Brazil to the UK there's a huge awakening. And they know from Africa to Canada, from Russia to Japan, yes, there is an amazing awakening all over the world Africa? as free humanity dreams of a better future, not under Bill Gates and the New World Order. So I want to salute and I want to thank and I want to tell you all you're incredible. The D.C. police are believing there's upwards of 100,000 people lined all the way back from where we came from. And more are coming. And this is just the beginning. Because no matter what happens with Trump, it's 1776 time. 1776. 1776. 1776. 1776. 1776. He sounds like the schizophrenics of the psych hospital I work at. I mean, dude. It's it's uh captivating for people who are like minded, who have gotten poisoned, who have poison in the brain. One black guy must be scared as hell. No, he probably has fucking the same kind of brain cancer too. Alex Jones has also declared independence. <laughs> from the enemy of America, CNN. And we declare independence from that communist Chinese agent, Joe Biden, and his demonic pedophile family. Like, how, how do you watch this and then you, you're Joe Rogan and you have him on your show? 
or you're Tim Pool and you have him on your show. Like you can't you can't cast any aspersions. Like you're you're done. Like when you do that, you can't turn around and be like, "Well, I'm actually a centrist." Like you're not a fucking centrist. This dude is a psychopath. To make fun of him, Alex Jones, it, well, Joe Rogan is not making fun of him though. And if you then attempt to shut our speech down and attack us, we will defend ourselves! Or say he got everything right in the past 20 years? Yeah, exactly, dude. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> like, I love... I love laughing at Alex Jones more than anyone. You already know this. But, but this dude is a psychopath. Like, he, his producer asked to have him on my show. His producer reached out to me and was like, Alex Jones wants to come on your show. Let's make it happen. And I didn't respond to him because I was like, I don't want to fucking do that. Like, I, I think that that is, I think that is absolutely a, 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 a horrible idea. Like, I don't even want his audience. I, I don't want his followers to be aware of my existence. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm worried that if they hear about me, they're going to fucking try to find me and kill me. Hi, YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel, Asanabi. If you're watching this on one of the clip channels, please subscribe to my channel, the original one, Asanabi, and also ring the bell.